Today, we will briefly cover what makes an intertrochanteric femur fracture unstable, as it is a common question directed towards medical students on rotation. To start, an intertrochanteric femur fracture is a fracture line that runs between the greater and lesser trochanters of the femur. You can see here on this diagram the various types of fractures that can afflict this region and the different names we use depending on if it goes through both the trochanters between, has extension below, etc. Today, however, we will focus on the intertrochanteric pattern specifically. There are four key concepts you will want to name if asked what makes an intertroch unstable. These include if it has reverse obliquity, medial calcar disruption, lateral wall blowout, and subtrochanteric extension. Knowing if an intertroch is unstable or not is important because it can aid in determination of a treatment plan. For instance, dynamic hip screws, or otherwise abbreviated DHS, can only be used for stable patterns and thus knowing if an intertroch fracture is unstable can help rule out DHS as an option and might lead you to a cephalomedullary nail instead. So now to briefly cover each, first up we have the reverse obliquity fracture. Normal obliquity can be seen here in the image on the left, with a reverse pattern being seen on the right. With the reverse obliquity, you can imagine that with a DHS, your screw is parallel to the fracture line instead of the desired orthogonal placement we have discussed in prior videos. For lateral wall blowout, you can imagine if there is severe comminution right where your DHS is trying to capture good bone in order to compress the fracture line, you essentially would have nothing of good quality to push against and thus compress the fracture. For medial calcar disruption, you have to understand what the medial calcar is. The medial calcar is a strong posterior medial pillar of bone. Without it, you can imagine that with compression, you will be essentially missing this structure and will collapse apex anterior. Lastly, for subtrochanteric extension, you can see how this would not be amenable to DHS as the fracture line travels outside of your DHS window. Alrighty, here are the four factors that make an intertroch femur fracture unstable. These are what you will want to list off if pimped on this topic on rotation. That is all for today. See you all in the next one.